Hey romance readers, Linda here coming back at you with another video today. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's having a great day and I hope you had a fantastic day yesterday. Happy Labor Happy Belated Labor Day. I hope you uh ate a lot of food like I did because I got stuff. Now I need to go work out. I went walking today. Yeah, it's rough when you don't when you don't do exercise and then you finally like, okay, I'm finna go work out. It was rough people. <laughs> I'll probably be sore tomorrow, but it was, yeah, it's rough. Don't, don't, sit, don't be a couch potato like I am. I'm a couch potato. Then all of a sudden you're going to work out. Yeah, it don't work like that. You need to just, you know, slowly work your way into it. Now I'm like, I'm going full force. I'm going walking today. I'm going to run a little bit. Yeah, I was like, I got back to my car. I couldn't even drive home. Yeah, I had to sit in the car and cut the air on. I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's hard out here. Trying to, trying to keep in shape. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough. But anyway. I just wanted to come and do. Like I said, mentioned. I said I'm going to try to do a Tuesday or Thursday video. So. Uh, just do readers update. So. And maybe that way I can get through my books. Because I know I need to do a video on the book. And finish it and do a video. Well I finished Grace Draven. Master of the Crows. People. When I said Grace Draven is an excellent writer. She's the best. I started this book on Saturday night. I couldn't put it down. I I was almost finished with it, but I fell asleep with the book in my hand. So I finished it Sunday. It was excellent. Another excellent book by her. It's Master of Crows. I might have said Master of the Crows. I don't know why I want to keep putting the in there. It's Master of Crows. Excellent book. It's 300 and some pages, 386 pages. I finished it in two days. I love her writing style. And her her books catch you right from the start. You know, some books when you start, it's kind of slow. And then it just build up and then it get better and better. Her start from the beginning. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's uh, I give it five stars. And I mentioned her other books that I've read. I've read... Um, let me see what's the name of I thought I had Radiance and Elderlon. I think I said I gave both of those books five stars, but I gave Radiance five stars and I gave Elderlon four and a half stars. But both of those were excellent books too. If you haven't read those, you need to check them out. You won't be disappointed if you like fantasy romance. These are fantasy romance dealing with magic, dealing with other worlds. Yes. But it was fantastic. This was fantastic. And it's uh, dealing with Sahara of Neff. He's like a mage or a uh, wizard. And uh, Matisse of Asher. She's like a blonde woman. And she um, works with the, uh, she works at, with the priest of translate. She's like a really like a little apprentice, but uh, you know, they, you got the rich people and then you got the, uh, I don't want to call him a slave, but you know you got the people who because she had because she called him master when she get so really yeah you're a bun you're a bun slave person working you know working for the higher ups and um, and Sahar um, they found the priest found out that he has a really uh, he had his magic is very strong so they wanted him to come and be you know trained with the priest and stuff but he didn't want to do that uh and so they kicked him out and sent him to this uh wizard at this uh old big old castle falling apart place uh with fog and stuff a scary place you wouldn't want to go and because they thought that uh the wizard would like you know do something to him or anything but he did he took him in and, and made him his apprentice and i and when he and when he passed away he left the place to uh sahara well sahara uh inherit he got it and so sahara when it first starts um like i said this is dealing with a lot of magic and a lot of uh evil spirits so it's an evil spirit out there they call that she calls corrupt in this book and and they call it corrupt um sahara and the priest they call it corrupt is trying to take over his body and uh because they said that you know I don't know, every couple of years, an they call an avatar or something is born, and corrupt think that Sahara is that avatar, so he's trying to take over his body, and Sahara is trying to fight him, and so he um, calls the priest, he, well, he sends a, um, 
a message to the priest saying that he needs an apprentice who can read uh, all these different books that he have because he, he can't read some of the language of all the mystical books that he have and stuff like that. So he need a apprentice who can read all this stuff. And so they send Martise and uh, Sahara knows that she's going to be a, like he said, you know, they're probably going to he even he needs her, but he knows that she probably he didn't know it was going to be a female, but whoever was going to be a, a spy or something for the priest. And the priest that she works for, him and Sahara has like uh, something in their past. I'm not going to tell you. Let you let you read the book and find it out. But um, uh, the priest brings a, a, a Matisse there to work with him. And yes, she's, she's supposed to be a spy. She's supposed to spy on Sahara. And... Um, it's about them, and he 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 also has a manservant, and he has like they have these dogs that back in the day that if you had a gift like um, everyone in here like I, most of the people in here like have gifts they call them gifts but they like magic or something, and it takes a while for your magic to manifest, and uh, Marty's gift or magic hasn't manifested yet so her the priest is also sending her there so that they said maybe um sahara can help her you know get her gift to come you know come through and once your gift come you can do magic or whatever but once uh martise gift come she still can't do magic but i'm not gonna and i loved her gift her gift was kind of like had a mind of his own and uh i just liked her gift and I'm gonna not gonna tell you what it is, but uh, yeah, her, yeah, you didn't want to miss with her gift, and um, it goes from there with her helping him uh, read the sc the scrolls, going on a couple of little adventures. I, it was excellent, excellent, excellent book. I'm not good at describing these books. <laughs> <laughs> not like not like some people on these videos they be they be having it down packed but all i can say is that this book was excellent five stars i really really enjoyed it and i went i'm going to buy some more books so i was on her website and um i found out that she have had a little novelette um uh, companion to this so you know i had to get that so instead of reading start reading this i had i downloaded the companion the no, little novelette it was only like 102 pages and this was like 386 pages and this was published in um this is old because this was published in because i'm just now discovering grace draven and um this was published in 2009 this has been a long time ago but if you haven't read this you need to go check it out excellent yeah this is going to be on my 2018 of uh, books to read uh yeah my uh 2018 best reads yeah this is going to be on there excellent and this little novelette that she did is going to be on there too let me um show you this i went and found this this is uh the brush of black wings and uh this was excellent too i give it five star but it was only like 102 pages and this is just a continuation of sahara and martiz and in this this one they're married now and she gets up one day to go and um, pick some mushrooms uh, for the manservant. Uh, for he's he's going to cook the mushrooms for them. And she told her, you know, she wanted to help him out. She told the told him that uh, she had told the manservant that she would, because I can't remember his name. The the guy that works with uh, Sahara, um, he's going. She went and picked some mushroom for him. And while she was out there, like I said, he lived in this big old is mystic place it got ruins and um he told you know you don't he already told her some of these ruins you don't need to be touching because he don't went down and went to some of them and found the ones that have magic and put a spell on it so they won't do anything but this one you know he looked at it and they, it didn't it wasn't nothing there but once she touched it, she got a gift because in this one she loses her gift but in this one she gets it back because when she touched that ruin it disturbed something down there and something tried to take her and um but it don't get her this time because uh sahara shows up because she screams and then the, there's a dog too uh yeah it's a lot going on because this dog that they have he can uh his eyes will glow when a person has because everybody don't have gifts so they've got these dogs to uh sniff out people who with gifts and stuff before back in the day 
these dogs were dangerous because they were killing people who had gift or magic. But now they don't. And uh, so this dog was trying to help her so uh, she don't get taken. And uh, so Sahar show up. And by that time, her gift has manifested and it scares away the 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 thing that was trying to take her but eventually you know it does take her and then that's where this story begins with him trying to get her back and using all his spells and stuff to get her back i really really enjoyed it it's the brush of black wings really really enjoyed it excellent and like i said it's only 102 pages if you haven't Red Grace Draven and you like fantasy. Now, these, if you don't like fantasy, these might not be for you. But these are like fantasy novels with magic. And I love reading about uh, magic uh, in, in novels and romances. So, I really, really enjoyed it. Five stars, both of these. Both of these. Grace Draven, check them out. She's an excellent, excellent, excellent writer. Love her writing style. Yeah, I, it's, it's catching you from the jump. You can't put it down. And I also wanted to recommend Radiance. Those are the books, two books that I tried to remember last time. She uh, wrote Radiance and uh, Eldalon. I gave, I think I said I had gave Radiance and Eldalon five stars, but I gave Radiance five stars and I got gave Eldion four and a half stars. And she's a fantasy romance writer, so most of her books are dealing with fantasy. But you can't go wrong. Loved it. The two thumbs up. <laughs> and next, um, like I was going to start, uh, after I finished Master of Crows, I was going to start reading uh, The Protector. But when I saw that she had like the other uh, little novelette of The Brush of the Black Wings, Brush of Black Wings, I had, you know, I had to go read that because I still wanted to know a little bit more about what's going on with Martiz and Sahara. Yeah, Sahara. E e yes, it was that good. I had to read that little bit. But I have started reading uh, Jody L. Papa's Amapas. Jody Ellen, Jody Ellen Mappas. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. The Protector. I just started this. I ain't been too long started this. I'm still on chapter one, really. And it's it's pretty good so far. So I'm planning on hopefully I'll finish this by this week too. And then I can start something else. But um this is gonna be about Camille Logan and she's like a from a rich family, and I think she's been through some stuff because I think she's been in rehab or something something and something is going on with her dad so he's going to hire her body bodyguard and that's going to be Jake Sharp and uh, once it started off you can I can tell that um he's going to have some issues going on because uh at the beginning of this it's like he's I think he's in a, he was in the military and something happened and he thinks that um he calls a bunch of soldiers to get killed in here because here's the little synopsis right here where he said he don't effed up because he should have stayed where he was at and he done did something that he think that he done caused uh, some of the guys in his unit to get killed or whatever so that's how that started they gave a little um little tease right he, he was thinking back really he's dreaming because he's going to wake up out of his dream so i'm on page three here right there i haven't got too far so gonna give this a try and uh i want to go ahead and read it because uh passion flicks uh, i think i mentioned on here that i've uh subscribed to passion flick is like they're they doing a lot of uh romance movies so um they just got through i think they just finished driven i forgot what the lady name who wrote that um but that's on there so i gotta go on there and look at that and i they i know they are getting ready to start uh filming the protector so i want to finish this before they uh, finished the movie because I think they said it was in Paris Paris I guess they're doing scouting out some stuff because this right here starts where he's in London so um, I want to finish this before uh, Passion Flicks uh, finished the movie I want to see um, how it's going to be so I hope I enjoy it can't wait to read it so that's next and I also mentioned that I had or I was going to order some books because I read um a couple of books that I've enjoyed and I said I was going to order some so they came here so let me open these up and do a little haul here along with my reading update if I can get this open let's try it yeah Amazon they're doing something different sending these uh, you know you used to get a box and now yeah I guess they send them in these little uh, plastic papers here I guess this might be a little bit cheaper than sending a, uh, a box oh 
like they put this little bit of book in this big old piece. Yeah, yeah. Here it is, the charmer. Oh, I mean the schemer. Cause the first book I read was the charmer. Look at that. Look at his eyes. Oh my goodness. I like this cover. Those eyes look dangerous. Look at that. The schemer by Avery Flynn, and I read a little bit of the back of this. Taylor Jacobson has a plan for everything except how to handle his completely annoying, or utterly flush, frustrating, and totally sexy upstairs neighbor. He couldn't care less if Evelyn Robinski thinks he's equally irritating until he discovers she's the only one who can help him land a business deal that will finally make him feel like he's more than just a guy from the wrong side of the tracks. So I read The Charmer by her and I really, really liked it. I think I gave it... Um, three and a half stars I think so and uh, but I really enjoy her writing so um, I, I went ahead and got the schemer and I also ordered uh, what's the other book uh, in here they have it in here they probably don't the negotiator I, I don't think the negotiator I got two more packages over here but I don't think it's the, the negotiator in either one of those but yeah I really I really like her writing Avery Flynn and let's open this one up. Got another one here. Let's open this one. And I also remember I told you I was going to order Tamara Weber. So here they are. This easy. I highly, highly recommend this one. I gave this four and a half stars. Really, really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four and a half stars, but it, it was really, really good. And this one is going to be uh, on this guy's, this is on his, uh, this is going to be his story in this one, uh, telling his side of the story or whatever, however you want to say it. But it's going to be from his, from his point of view. There you go. Um, so it's the same, it's the same story, but it's going to be from Luca's point of view. And this is breakable. And this is easy. I'm not going to read the back of these because I already went over this, but... Highly, highly recommend Tamara, Tamara Weber. Easy. Really, really enjoyed it. Excellent story. Excellent YA romance. And I got one more here. See how they got this in here. This this came from Amazon too, but this from, was from uh, another Discover Books that sell on Amazon. So let's open this up. See, can I get? Oh, they really put this in here good. Oh my goodness, really? I'm doing too much. Nice packaging, but woo! Oh, it's all sticky on this side. I got this right here. And I got this book because I, have any of you ever heard of Boris um, Vesleigos? I can't pronounce his last name, but he's an artist. Um, he, he do a lot of uh, different kind of artwork uh, on like, uh, what do you call those kind of books? Like Tarzan. Sorry, my camera went out. Like the back in the day when they had uh, Tarzan and then you had um, John Carter, those kind of books where you get they actually did the artwork. And I love his. Uh, if you have, if you get a chance, look him up. Boris Valalas, Valalas Gus. I, yeah, I'm just messing his name off. <laughs> but I love his artwork. So when I found out that he also did like romance novels. I was like, yeah, I started looking up uh, his uh, work. So this is a, I, if you can see it, they got this little cover across here. But I love his artwork. So I said I was going to collect his artwork on uh, romance novels. So um, this is uh, some of his artwork. And if the book turned out to be good, that would be fantastic too. See, it's just a little small read. Let's see what this say on the back. Captive Heart. Cap Captive Heart. Educated in the country by her scholarly father and raised as an equal with her brothers, lovely Athena Newham was unfamiliar with the fate with the favorites of the heart of the heart one. 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And when she was invited to stay at her fashionable aunt's house in London, she found it difficult to play the romantic games that seemed to be all the rage with her cousin. So it happened that when the dashing, notorious Bo Devitt, Devitish, Devitish, began casting his eyes her way, Aletha quite naturally annoyed him until she discovered that even the finest intelligence and the nicest young lady could not outsmart a clever, cleverly captive heart. That sounds interesting. I might read that. It, and it's not that much. How many pages in here? It's just 170 pages. Look, uh, Grace Draven could have put her her little um, novelette in something like this. Look at this. That's a hundred, and her book was 102 pages. And this is only 170 pages. Yeah, I might go ahead and read that. That's interesting. I like that that um, synopsis right there. Sounded pretty good. I might give it a try. And this is The Bow, The Bow and the Blue Stocking by Alice Chanez Lay. So, um, yeah, he, I think he did a um, Boris Valalis. Yeah, I think he did a lot of, uh, of her cover. So I've been trying to find some more of her books with um, the cover on it. If I find any more, I'll show them to you. I don't know if you can see it real good, but... I, I got I think I got two other books with uh that he did and if I can find them I'll show them to you. But I I like his uh, artwork. And that's what back in the day when, you know, they didn't do these uh pictures like this right here. They actually drew the picture, the artwork. Yeah, I like that. And that's why I like um what I do with her book here. That's why I like Grace Draven cover. It's like artwork. If you can see it. It's nice. All right, then. That's all I have for now. Um, I'll see you again sometime next week. But until then, keep reading those romances. Have a great evening. Bye.